Welcome back everybody. Today we're talking about two grips from Magpul, the uh, AFG and the MBG. Both of these are going to be for their MWOC platforms. Now uh, they're going to work on any MWOC handguards or really anything that accepts MWOC. Right now I think there's just handguards out but who knows what's coming down the pipe from Magpul. Uh, really they've released a ton of stuff for their MWOC line um, in the past really two or three months uh, before SHOT Show and then now you know in the time after SHOT Show it just keeps coming out. So much new good stuff for it so that's certainly a good thing for folks like me who uh, make videos here um, but it's hard to keep up with all of it really it is you'll see some of it here in the video and uh, but we're going to be focusing on these two grips and you're going to see sort of how they compare to their predecessors how they install and then basically the difference between the two and which one you may like or if you're like me perhaps both but without further ado let's take a closer look at them As you can see pretty clearly here, both the MBG and the AFG, uh, the MWOC versions anywhere, are descendants of their earlier MOE versions. Uh, this one here obviously is going to be the uh, AFG2, designed to be put on any sort of Picatinny rail out there. Um, and then we have the uh, Magpul vertical grip here. This one here is designed to work on their old MOE accessories. Now, a couple things you see right off the bat. Number one, the MWOC versions are generally smaller. That sort of uh, just goes in line with the trend in the industry to have more sleek or slimmer designs overall. And uh, both of these certainly fit that mold. You can see here, I believe the uh, AFG MWOC version is actually three quarter inches shorter than the AFG2, which I think if we line them up like that, will be a little bit more apparent. And uh, really the profile of it all around is just much smaller and it's actually much lighter as well. Same here with the uh, MBG. Now the MVG has the uh, TSP texturing on there, which I really like. Uh, we've gone over that with several different grips, uh, grip reviews we've done for Magpul uh, here on the channel. And uh, really it gives you a good positive purchase in there, regardless of the weather conditions, sweat, blood, whatever the case may be, uh, you definitely get a good hold on there. And the AFG here um, has got serrations uh, sort of put into the mold here. So when you actually grab it, you do have some resistance and friction there on your hand, but it's still pretty low profile overall and has the sort of built-in hand stop features, if you will, both up front and on the rear here. Installation of any of your MWOC accessories really is pretty simple. And like I was mentioning earlier in the video, there are a ton of MWOC accessories coming out from Magpul. Here we have quite a few of them on display. We have the uh, quick detach sling attachment point from uh, Magpul, as well as the light mount here. Uh, mounted up on the MWOC, MOE handguard. This one here is the mid length handguard, and you can see here it works just fine with piston systems as well as any sort of direct impingement systems. But basically, the installation of these is, is really simple and uh, works via the T nut here that you see on top. Uh, incidentally, all the Everything you see here, including the nuts, the polymer, everything is made in the USA by Magpul in-house. So definitely always a good thing there. But what's going to happen is when we put these T nuts into these MWOC slots here, you're going to actually just turn the bolt and that will cause the T-nuts to clamp down onto the polymer sections here. And you can see it sort of has these points uh, front and rear, so that way it braces against recoil forces or pulling forces or anything like that to keep it securely mounted in place. And we'll just sort of demo that here by installing it. And you want to make sure your T-nuts are straight, so that way when you put them in the MWOC slots here on the bottom of the handguard, it'll go in uh, as it's intended. We're just kind of lining them up here and get it down into place. And you can see even on the uh, MOE handguard here just how low profile this AFG is. It's really nice in my opinion. So I'm just going to tighten it down until we get it. Um, so that way those T-nuts are engaged. And do the same here. I think this one was a little bit looser. And 
and that's it. And you just want to test it, make sure it's not going to move around, pull on it, and uh, that's really it. That's the installation. I think I left out a few details of these so far. Uh, this one here, I believe the MSRP is going to be $22 on it, and then the AFG, the MSRP, I think is $26. Uh, they come in black, gray, flat dark earth, and OD green, at least as of uh currently what Magpul is offering. Who knows down the road they may offer uh, more color combinations out there. I know the sand color from Magpul was recently debuted. These may come in it. They may not. I don't know. But just keep an eye out over on Magpul's website for that. I'll post the website here and in the video description so you guys can check it out. Um, but really which one you're going to like? I don't know. Honestly, I like both of them uh, when compared to their predecessors. Both of them, like I mentioned earlier, offer a lower profile here. I really think it's uh, going to be just like their predecessors whichever one you prefer it, from the earlier line is probably the one you're going to prefer here for those of you guys that like hand stops or something really ultra low profile uh, to be running on your four ends the uh, AFG is probably what you're looking for for those of you guys that like the vertical grip I know some folks out there still like to grip it like this that's just fine if that's you definitely you're going to want to go with the MBG Really, I like them both. It just sort of depends on the platform. Uh, one thing that we saw with uh, shotgun use, in my opinion, I did not like this on the shotguns. I like this when using it on the uh, ARs for sure. Um, but for shotguns, the AFG, again, for my user preference, was much preferable when running it on that Mossberg uh, 590. So really, again, user preference at the end of the day. But both of them are very good options, very solid options from Magpul. Um, and if you guys have any questions, as always, you can post below in the comments section. You can also post uh, over at my Facebook page. But thanks for watching. I truly appreciate it. Thanks for subscribing. And I'll see you in the next video.